As a museum curator, I am constantly amazed, you might almost say humbled, at the generosity of the general public. The things that people bring us to add to our collections, and it can be anything from a handful of buttons or a cap badge to a medal group, but just once in a while there is something that really does make you step back and think, that is wonderful. And this tunic is one of those objects. This is the tunic of a sergeant major in the 54th Regiment of Foot, who would become part of the Dorset Regiment. Um, and it's probably about 150 years old. It actually came from the family. In fact, it was donated by the second great niece of Sergeant Major Robert Tyson. Now, Tyson came from an army family. His father had been in the 54th Foot. His brother enlisted in the 54th Foot as well and became bandmaster. Um, and then Tyson himself, he was born in 1842, and he enlisted as a boy soldier at the age of just 10 years old. That wasn't unusual in those days. We think it rather strange now, of course. Um, and then he made his way up, the rank, up through the ranks until he was promoted Sergeant Major in 1875. But this tunic is just a fabulous survival. It's been in a trunk or in a suitcase or something like that, and it's still got all its original insignia. So it's got the epaulettes with 54, the letters, numbers 54 on uh, in gilt. It's got his sergeant major's rank insignia. It's got the, what we call the collar dogs, the sphinx with marabout underneath, which is the insignia of the Dorset Regiment, right down to the medal ribbons. And he's got his uh, Indian mutiny and his long service medals. There are uh, the ribbons there on his chest. The only thing it's lost and I think we can forgive this, is one button. It's a serge tunic, um, which is, serge was the material the British Army used for uniforms for the better part of, you know, 200 years, right up to the 1960s. Um, but it's still a good colour. It's a little bit faded. It's got a little bit of moth. As I said, you know, it's just a remarkable survival because to get such a super example of an other ranks rather than officer's tunic of this period is really lovely. Sergeant Major Tyson had the sort of career that most British soldiers did in those days. He spent a lot of his time abroad. He served in the 54th Foot for 23 years, and all of that he spent 13 years and six months in what they called the East Indies, what we call India. Now, just surviving that was quite an achievement in itself. 13 and a half years in a really unpleasant environment where all the diseases like malaria, blackwater fever um, were present. Um, getting through that, he must have had a pretty strong constitution. Actually, even getting to India in the first place was quite an adventure because they went out, the 54th were sent to India to uh, assist in the suppression of the Indian mutiny in 1857. On the way, they were on a troop ship called the Sarah Sands. Um, this was a, a steamer and they were out in the Bay of Bengal, about 800 miles from land, when the ship caught fire. It was a wooden-hulled vessel. Um, this was not a good outlook, because apart from the 54th, the Sarah Sands was carrying a considerable quantity of munitions, and specifically gunpowder. So the soldiers of the 54th had the alter... Had, I suppose they had three alternatives, really. Um, burn, jump overboard and get eaten by the sharks, or put the fire out. Understandably, they chose the latter, and they fought the fire, they extinguished it, and assisted the crew in bringing the Sarah Sands into port. Now, that was really quite an achievement, so much so that Queen Victoria decreed that the story of the Sarah Sands be read out at the head of every regiment of the British Army. Um, and Sergeant Major Tyson was part of that story.